in today's video we are going to see some computer basics let's start if you want to check any device ip is reachable or not go in start search for uh, cmd dial command prompt cmd come on open command prompt type ping and ip address of device I am typing Google DNS eight dot eight dot eight dot eight. See, I am connected with internet, hence I am getting ping. When you type ping space IP address, you will get four packet reply. When you type ping space IP address space minus T, you will get continuous ping. So you can monitor your device is live or not in network continuously. To break this ping, press Control C. and type new command to check self ip type ip config this is my self ip means uh, this laptop ip 192.168.172.35 this is subnet mask and this is default gateway 192.168.176.235 and this is ip version 6 ip address and this is ip version 4 ip If you want to check DNS and MAC address, then type ipconfig slash forward slash all. See the output. This is uh, PC IP address. This is MAC address of wireless. Uh, wireless LAN adapter local area connection, and this one is Ethernet adapter, Bluetooth network, MAC address. This is also wireless LAN adapter Wi-Fi. Its IP is 192.168, which is taken from Wi-Fi. Now I am connected with my Wi-Fi. See uh, where we connect Ethernet cable. That port MAC address is this one 24-05-542C3 3F. Now it is disconnected. And my DNS server is this one, 192.168.176.235. To change IP address, go in right side corner. You can see there uh, network connection or uh, Wi-Fi connection icon. Right click on that. Open network and sharing center. click on change adapter setting if i want to change uh, ethernet port ip address then click right click on ethernet connection type properties ip version 4 and uh, if you are connected with dhcp network then click on obtain an ip address automatically and as your dns or if you want to be manual ip click on use the following ip address give your manual ip 2 168 1.1 it is class c ip hence it automatically taken class c subnet mask default gateway is 192.168 1.1 so let correct its ip address dns can you can put google dns 8.8.4.4 okay again press okay if you are connected with multiple devices whose ip address are different means has have different subnet then you can uh, add multiple ip addresses in ethernet adapter same way click on properties ip version 4 but this time you have to click on advanced setting here you can see uh, current ip address 192.168.1.1 and uh, to add uh, second ip address click on add 192.168.2.1 so i i have added two dot network for to same laptop i will add third ip address 192.168.3.1 all are class c ip hence they are taking uh, 255.255.255.0 subnet mask add then okay 
see i am able to ping uh, right now ethernet is not connected so it will not ping but in this way uh, you can connect uh, multiple devices uh, whose ip address are different for testing purpose you can use this method to change ip address to check pc configuration sometime uh, you need uh, pc configuration to install some kind of software on that pc uh, so uh, go in uh, this pc right click on this pc properties and uh, check the version of windows windows 8.1 uh, processor is intel core i5 2.5 gigahertz cpu install memory is ram is 4 gb 64 uh, bit operating system to install uh, some uh, features on pc uh, like if you are installing one software which require dotnet or you want to install telnet client uh, then or ii services then go in search type windows feature turn on off or off on or off so all windows features are listed uh, which are uh, activated or by default active uh, they can be seen here uh, by this uh, tick uh, so dotnet framework 3.5 is already activated hence you can see here uh, this black ticks dotnet 4.5 is also activated on this uh, pc uh, as well internet explorer uh, which services uh, whose tick are enabled those services are uh, currently running on this pc if you want to enable uh, tftp client or telnet client uh, you must tick this telnet client telnet server and tftp client if you want to uh, activate iis services then uh, click on internet information services enable this all parameters and click on ok if your pc already has these files then it will install automatically else it will direct you to internet uh, and automatically uh, downloads that files and install in pc So all features are installed, close the window. Now we will see how to uh, uninstall any unrequired software. So search for control panel. These are basic things, I am just creating this video for some beginners. Click on program, uninstall program. Select any unwanted software. If I want to uninstall SAP crystal report, select that software, click uninstall. Please wait while Windows configure SAP crystal report and then again for .NET framework. Yes.
have it is uninstalled we by mistake you delete some uh, icons from desktop so how to retry uh, i will tell you uh, first of all uh, i will check file where uh, file is file is installed in file location to reduce uh, time otherwise it will, this video will become too long it is installed in c folder program files 86 ultra viewer consider mistake and by mistake uh, this ultra viewer icon is deleted by me to retrieve that icon you must go in recycle bin and right click and then click restore and continue if you don't find this icon in recycle bin i will tell you how, how to retrieve this icon i am completely deleting this uh, shortcut from desktop i have already seen its path in c folder then uh, go in my computer c folder program files 86 and ultra viewer folder search for a uh, file type application see here you can see this column type the file type is application then right right click on that uh, file and send to click right click send to desktop create shortcut so it shortcut again created on my desktop next one is how to check any uh, peripheral or device connected or not uh, with your pc right click on my computer click on manage click on device manager i am test uh, i will test my usb mouse see here in a uh, universal serial bus controller there are 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 devices are connected or they are drivers if i remove my mouse you will see some kind of refresh again i am connecting my device see it again refresh so my computer is sensing my usb mouse thank you friends hope you have understand whatever i thought today please subscribe my channel and don't forget to share thank you